Hi, I thought that I'd uh, make a video diary for 2021, not really knowing um, what kind of year this is going to turn out to be um, for any of us. You know, uh, more pandemic, more lockdown, more exhibitions and everything else cancelled. So I thought um, I'd just make a diary of what I'm doing here in East Yorkshire and um, thought it might entertain some people. <laughs> well here I am uh, in my car, I'm going to take a drive into East Yorkshire. I'm very fortunate to live in such a lovely area of the United Kingdom. Uh, quiet, something of a backwater, but it's a great place to live. So I'm going to go out and uh, maybe drive up through the Yorkshire Wolds or maybe to the coast. Obviously I'm not going to be using my uh, selfie stick while I'm driving because um, that is slightly illegal. But here we go. Well here I am uh, in Bridlington at the harbour. And one of the things I love about living in East Yorkshire is you've got such a variety of places. You've got harbours like this, you've got the seaside, and you've got the rolling hills of the Yorkshire Wolds, which means that uh, as a, a painter, you can never really get bored. So right here you have a nice harbour scene with the um, boats and the people enjoying the spring sunshine. It's a great subject for a painting. Well as you can see Bridlington is a lively town and over there you've got the hot dogs, the seafood, the ice cream, the donuts and of course the cafes, teas and coffees and so on and of course it, it wouldn't really be Bridlington without the uh, seagulls providing us with some company. <laughs> and speak of the devil, right on cue, some uh, seagulls turn up and uh, I think they're expecting me to uh, throw them some fish and chips and I'm not going to. You can see what a tremendously inspiring place this is for anyone who's interested in painting. I believe that the richer the environment you live in, the more material there is to inspire you to create. Well, as you can see, here we are on Bridlington foreshore and there's a tremendous wind coming in from the North Sea. And I'll tell you what, I wouldn't fancy swimming in that water because it's, it's almost icy cold. It really is seriously cold. These are the kinds of different conditions that are quite inspiring in a place like East Yorkshire and which mean that you never really get bored in terms of finding something to inspire you to uh, paint. Well, here you can see my uh, painting for the upcoming summer 2021 exhibition Hanseatic Gold in Riga, Latvia. 
and uh, the Hanseatic League is this trading league which was founded in medieval times and it's been restarted in the last few decades and it's got quite big and my, uh, in my locality a few uh, cities and towns have joined the Hanseatic League, the modern Hanseatic League. It's based around the Baltic Sea and the North Sea, and basically the Northern European trading nations. So I thought with this um, picture, I've tried to feature modern aspects of the Hanseatic League. You can see the robot here, you can see the engineers, the businessman, the businesswomen, a modern tractor, Klaus tractor, made in Germany, Hanseatic country and then these buildings are based on the uh, buildings in Lübeck which is a, a well-known Hanseatic city in Germany and then you've got container ships which actually you know carry the trade through the Baltic in the North Sea and uh, this bridge is based on one which you'll find running over the uh, Baltic between Denmark and Sweden which I was privileged to actually sail under uh, a few years ago, it was quite fascinating. And here you've got a building based on one in Sweden, and uh, you have uh, the um, airliner, uh, which of course represents modernity. We don't use the old sailing ships that they once did in medieval times in the Hanseatic League. And then you've got a satellite there up in the top corner and uh, again that represents the modernity and the technology of the modern Hanseatic League. Of course we also have rolling woodlands and hills in East Yorkshire which are very pleasant. There are plenty of places in East Yorkshire where the only noise you'll hear is the sound of the birds and there's nothing but rolling hills and trees with hobbit holes in them. <laughs> Hi, I hope you like this picture. This is a picture I've called um, Spiritual Meadow and uh, I've done it for an upcoming exhibition at Hull Minster in Hull for the uh, upcoming summer. And uh, as you can see, uh, the picture shows a butterfly and some daisies, a nice meadow, wood in the background, a crucifix, nice blue sky. So it's trying to evoke a lovely, spiritual meadow. The uh, title of the exhibition is The Wild and the Natural so I thought this would be a nice little thing to put in and uh, you know give people something to look at when they visit the Minster in the summer. It is a very beautiful building and uh, I'm very proud to see one of my um, pictures hanging in this uh, wonderful and historic building. <laughs>